Okay. We have the uh, 12 by 42s. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Swarovski to give me the opportunity to um, use this um, equipment. And it's, as I said, the NL Pure is a, a brilliant, as I said, uh, the wide field view, the luminescence it goes down, it's, it's like it's 91%. Incredible. The solid casing with the magnesium. Um, and what I'm doing here is uh, setting up the camera. Now, this, as you say, that it's got three cameras on the mobile, so I've set it for the uh, the higher resolution one where I took the, food, king, uh, the kingfisher of the uh, Azuri the other day. Um, you can see that there. Now, I can zoom that in if I want. You can see just a little bit if there was a kingfisher there today. And then I can go to manual focus too, so... Then just hit record and if I think if it was here today, I would get it, but... Uh, the resolution is incredibly good on this through the brilliance of these this, this glass as I said there the, as I say with with the 42s you're getting 56 field of view in a 12 power you know magnification um, yeah as I said it's a game changer and if, you, if you want to do filming and all that when you're doing filming like this it's best to have it on manuals you know, what was that just for up there just you know, I won't get that there he is, down there now. I'm not sure. It could be a trike cuckoo, I'm not sure. As I say, it's green for um, doing other stuff here. And if I want to go manually, I can go out. Still recording. Give it time to say it settles down, make sure it's a still day. But, um, here's a bird just going in there now. Not sure which one it is. Be great if it's the um, Azura Kingfisher. Is it? Yeah, it will. If I go over a little tad more, you might be able to see it on a bit of a twig. Flying around here. But as I said, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a game changer with this um, for photographers. Um, someone said, oh, how come you, you're a hunter, you, you want the range finder? Well, I really don't need the range finder because I can get close to my animals. I don't have to worry about um, using a range finder. So 12 power is probably the, uh, what well, is it said, you can get 8, 10 and 12. And they're all brilliant. Like as I said, it uh, the lesser magnification, the steadier you're going to get. Eight powers are great for birding. So we've got a uh, dusty swallow's nest just over there, which you, you can't see, but it's over a bit further. Um, normally abundance of ducks, like a few pink eards and a blue shell to come in, but that'd be great. But, um, yeah, so this is what you're capable of doing, you know, like if, if you want to do filming and that. You, or you do through, through your mobile phone, which is um, the, the processor in the mobile phones is probably better than your high-end um, cameras. Um, this particular phone you can do up to 4K, oh, high definition 4K, and then up to 8K. When, and going through the brilliance of this glass on the Swarovski NL Pures, <laughs> just blows your mind. Um, so I've just done the review on the uh, the 10 42s which is already up. Now I'll do I'll do uh, a review on the 12 42s but um, you're right at the pinnacle of uh, optics when you're talking about Swarovski. He said I I've been a like a man all my life and the uh, Swarovskis are more designed for the hunter. You know, like as I said, if you're and well, as I say. 
primarily they've, they've catered for the hunter, which is fantastic. Um, you got all this gadgetry, you can adjust your straps on all this stuff by turning it, by pressing the button in. And But I, I don't want to do that, honestly. I just want to leave it as it is. Um, and you've got your, your forehead rest here. Now, when that came up, I was just like, well, do I really need this? Uh, since I've had these these binoculars for a couple of months now, and I can't do without it. Actually, it, it just gives you steadiness in steadiness, which is what you want. Um, if you're on one hand and you're you're, you're glassing um, and you need just one hand, it gives you three pivot points of balance stabilisation with these glasses. Immediately, as you go up and higher in magnification, you're going to get maybe a bit of shake, but these. These, this, this um, technology they're using in Swarovski's, it's, it's very minimal. As I say, you can move your glass, your binos around, you're going to move it there, there goes that bird again. And I'm not even, you know. This is I'm doing the, the review on the, on the, um, Yeah, this is just a little... See the bird flying there. It's a great fan tail, but as I say, three days ago, I, I got the Azura Kingfisher just where I'm looking right now. Um, there is another bird in there, I don't know. Azura is only very small, it's only about that big. So you'd be lovely to come in now and, and film while I'm doing the review. Um, There's abundance of wildlife out here, it's amazing. I even got deer up here, as I said, I, um, a couple of days ago I filmed a really nice stag. They're very hard to come onto though because it's just so thick and flat, there's no undulation, no under we can sit high and watch down on the deer. But um, yes, it's, 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 it's brilliant technology, I'll turn that off. You can just wait for your birds to come in. We get silver eyes, we get we get red browed finches, uh, as I said the fan tail, we've got the helmet honey eater here, yellow honey, helmet honey eater. Um, oh yeah, uh, your wrens, your scrub wren, uh, wren your uh, fi fairy wren. Um, and the kingfishers, because we've got a bit of a swamp here, but there's so much water, as I say, I'm doing this today because we're expecting heavy rain tonight, so go figure, we're in, um, in the month of uh, middle of November now and um, we've got X amount of water. If I start whistling, I might get a few birds to come in, which is good. I can hear them behind me. Come on. Okay, we might have to kingfish up. What do you have? He's on the post there. Still there. We actually got the fish here right now. He is here. There's the Azura now. It's too late. Just flew off. But, but I got it just enough of him. Not enough though. And it was a little bit overexposed, I had to adjust it. We'll go back. Go back to it again. Here it is, they're just there. 
That's the Azura that everyone's after. And it just flew off there. Yeah. But he landed over there, which is... I've got a good, good photo with me, me uh, pro camera here. I've got this just on the ground here. Um, like you're doing so many things, doing the review and trying to um, capture wildlife. Okay, there, yeah, I think we've got silver eyes up in those trees. So he flew that way. So he's living over towards the river. Okay. Yeah, you know, we'll turn that off for the time being. I might get some serious stuff now, film and try and get that Azura. It might be still there somewhere. Well, this is where, where you want just the binoculars and the other good camera so you can keep an eye on that is a thing I'm doing a review at the moment. And there's this. Okay, we, we got the kingfish out. Who's here? Yeah, he's going up next door. We got the pink kingfish out down. So I got him the other day. Azura is here right now, just in the way of those trees. If you get lucky, my kid is just coming out of those trees. So the magnification is too high. If you come from where you was the other day, I'd be thinking. It's just in the way. What he'll do, he'll come down onto the water's edge, he's looking for Tucker. He's there somewhere. Where that branch is there, he sits there normally and uh, don't know where he's just disappeared again. I filmed him um, a few days ago in you know, the sun was just setting and I had, this, I had, the, I had the sun right in there. Um, yeah. he's, there he's there somewhere. Let's put you off.
at the Azura Kingfisher, he's a true fisherman. I mean, he's um, after shrimp and little little fish and anything frogs. Their characteristics, they bob their head a bit. You know, you see their, their head come up. I've seen him go down behind the grass, but I can't see him. Just a bit, bit high. I sit here, I should have sat here with a chair, I would have got him. It's got a bigger camera just in case it comes up again. Going to the mozzies. But as he said, this, this, this technology now, yeah, it's unbelievable. You have to, just have the patience to wait them out when you capture those, those incredible moments. I did see him go down and I got the person come back up again. And I didn't have it on record. I'm just going to move over here so you can see him in the tree over here. And then he goes over. Just here now, just, just by the little way, we'll dive down after the fish is just watching. And then we'll just move around this way. Just give him a bit of a turn. Just give him a these optics, I can get that out. The sun's not on him, it gives it, it, it gets some brilliant detail, but that is the footage of that Azura now. Now, the composition, you look at the composition of the photos, I need to, he's looking to the right, so I need a little bit, bit better. That is brilliant. You see his eye. That's about as good as I'm going to get that. With a big 500 mil, I can see him all right. There you go. Let's just keep up with switch it on. You'll probably go back to another spot. Oh, I wish there's someone back there. Now well, that's good, he's staying here. Okay, we're well just going back again, just as I said, um, that's what I'm filming, that tree over there, just over on the other side. And uh, you see the, see the, um, the colour rendition that I've done, I've tried to make it neutral on the phone to just give you an idea. 
ever heard of chromatic uh, aberration, no fringing, um, and depth of field. As I said, I'm here, I could be glassing, spotting something now, looking over there. It, it, you don't have to tweak your, your adjusters as much. And you've got the eyepiece here, you can hand, use them in your hand, singly. Um, and I'll, I'll post up some uh, footage that I've done on the, through this, not this particular adapter, I used the Swarovski one, I'm just trying this other one, because I wasn't, because of this, um, it's a Samsung Note 20, um, yeah, I'll, I'll turn that off. And, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a bigger phone now, um, but the only reason I took this one, it's not as good as Swarovski, by a mile because these are just as terrible but once you tweak it you can get it right um, but I, I was fear factor because I'm in swampy areas here and you, sometimes you're in the water sometimes I'm wor worried about dropping my phone into, into the water or if you're up in the mountains dropping it over the edge when you're filming so or on rocks but that, as I said um, it, it is a review as I said I can't fault them the, the, the best binoculars that I've, I've ever had to, to use, you know. As I say, I've got bikers, and I've seen his eyes. Um, yeah, and you'll see that in my first review, but this is on the 12 by 42 which won't be far off the mark, but with his adapter, which you can use with the 10s too. Um, and I'll, I'll show you the uh, Swarovski adapter later on, but for guys that are aren't into filming, don't want to carry too much gear. You've got your binoculars and your phone and an adapter and a tripod if you're doing all that. I'm, I'm so impressed with the, uh, the quality of the footage, it's unreal. As I said before, they, the, um, you can do the footage in 4K resolution and 8K and if you want to do photographs, you can do that. But it's got its limitations doing this. You can't get fast moving objects like birds in flight or running animals. It's just something where you want to do landscape for uh, beautiful doing landscape. Um, you want to, I'll show you a bit of that on, on, on this review too, but oh, yeah. I never had this technology when I was 30 years ago. I wish they did, but um, didn't even have mobile phones. But this is what you're up against now with this, this fantastic uh, technology. Now, I say the optics on this is the glass they use is that it's cutting edge technology. And uh, I can't fold it. I've done tests on chromatic aberration, colour rendering, and it, it gets it gets 10 out of 10 for all that stuff. I, I, I can't I can't even fold it. I know what they're doing now. They they what they do with the convex of the, the objective lens is it's flattened so you don't get that blurring edges. The eyepieces are maybe they're, they're concave um, so they work in harmony between the eyepiece and the objective lens. Solid, solid. Um, I love the how it fits in my hand. As I said, I don't know, everyone's a little bit different um, but they're beautiful. And that only weigh 840 grams. How's that? There's a black duck just come in there while I'm talking. That was brilliant. But anyhow, that's what we're doing. You can sit here all day and have a cut lunch and sit here all day. Um, the biggest problem here is snakes. Plenty of them. Swampy area. What do you expect? But um, this is what I love doing. I'll just try and, try and get some footage of this late and snipe today if I can and um, I'll put that on. Catch you later.